Welcome back to part two, everyone. I'm still in the same situation, but I'm at load because I, I just showed you what would happen if I if I played the, the game without pausing it. Load la load save game, yes. I, I, I saved it at January 1st before I elapsed any time. You want to elapse time to make money, but you don't need to elapse any time before you've spent all your money, I guess. Okay, so part two is making bigger stations. Right, yeah, let's do that. Let's make, let's upgrade this station here. Let's hope it lets me destroy this piece of track here. Very good. Now if there's a train on there, you might have to elapse time to, to make that track destructible. But considering I haven't, the trains haven't driven anywhere yet, I guess I can destroy most of the track when I need to, which is good. Alright, so now I've made two tracks, and you want to cross your tracks every time you think... Well, I mean, yeah, obviously you need to cross them, because the train is on this side. Uh, let's see, how do I see this? Right. So the train needs to go on this direction, so you can drive on the right side. And then, well, then he comes into this part of this. Well, this is the only part of the he goes into the station and he drives out on the, well, still on the right side, but now it's on the other right side because now he's going the other way. So now he's here and he's going this way, going all the way back to the station. And the, the green part is, means that he's ready to go here. And then he comes here. He's on the right side. He's waiting at the signal. And if he, well, if he, if there wasn't this cross here, then he wouldn't be able to go back here. So, I mean, he's going into this side now, but whatever. Essentially, that's it. He he needs the, the cross so he can go into either one of the tracks. And he can go onto either direction of the tracks. So, you see, here is the... Oh yeah, in, in this mode it shows you the, the flow of the train. So, if I destroy... The, the cross I made, then you will see that each one of these tracks is only accessible from one direction now, because it doesn't have to cross there. And that means that at this moment, I can't make a train. See, it, it, it doesn't allow me to, to set up a train, because you can only access this, this train station from one direction. And, I mean, you could drive in this direction, but then you can't drive back, and vice versa, so... It's not going to let me set up a, a train, because a train needs to be able to return to its original station. So there, with the cross... Now, now it's, it's stopped here, it doesn't flow back and forth. So now I can set up another train, which I'm not going to do, but I could, because I already set up three trains on this track. All right, so now let's let's build another train station here with with cattle. You can click on the good here. It says cattle. In case that wasn't clear, you can zoom in. Might be able to see some cattle there. Unfortunately, cloud shadows can't be turned off, so now this is dark until the cloud passes. But yeah, there's some nice longhorns there, just ready to to be made into delicious beef jerky, I'm sure. Well, to be honest, beef jerky is disgusting, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's steak, I don't know. It looks like steak, but I'm assuming it's beef beef jerky, because it's, it's being transported and it doesn't go bad over the course of months, and they didn't have refrigeration. <laughs> Alright, don't forget to, to cross your station again, even though I could have just... I didn't need to put them both... I could have just used one track of the station for, for the cattle and one track of the station for for the passengers, but it's more versatile if I do it this way. Now which one's the right side? This one. There. Yeah, that's the right side. Right side goes up. That's how you want to remember it. Alright, so now I can set up a uh, a single train to go from here to here and bring cattle in. 
All right, so we're gonna save again, so you can, I can show you what will happen. I, I don't, I already know what will happen, so I, I wouldn't have to save here. But I'm gonna save here, so I can reload it again. Oh, you wanna turn this off because it's annoying. But whenever they get stuck, it's good to to click on root details. All right, so here it's being loaded full of cattle. Very slowly. It loads faster if you upgrade the station, but then it has more tracks and it's more work to, to deal with it and it's more expensive. So there, beef, I mean, cattle. I guess you can see cows in there. You can't zoom in too too far, I guess. Can you? No, I'm sure, I'm sure there's cows in there. <laughs> So there, the, the cattle wagons, they don't look too different from the meat wagons, I guess. They look a little different. They don't, I guess they don't moo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gotta have your cattle in the Wild West. Alright, so there you go. I'm gonna com continue fast forwarding this. There. Beautiful. There's the cattle going in. Now, what we'll notice here is that the trains are being retarded, <laughs> unfortunately. Unfortunately, all the trains are going into the station that is closest to them, which is now on this side, because both the stations are on this side. I guess if there was a station up here, then they would be automatically using that one, the, the upper one. So now I want to manually tell them to, to use the other trail. So. I click on, well, I click on the train, I guess. I can find the train by clicking on the track, by the way. The track, clicking on the track shows all the trains that go here. So here's the six trains that are going on this track. More conveniently, I can click on this track here, if there's no train. If there's a train, it's harder to click on it. So now I see all the seven trains that go into this station, specifically all the trains that go into this track too annoyingly, which they would have split up, but it means I have to split them up per m personally, manually, right, so here, I click on one, and then that that train now goes on one, so if I click again, uh, nothing, right, there, I, I set one train to go into this station, uh, into, into to this track, and then, no, not Augusta, Atlanta, see, now it's already split that one train, onto the other track and it, it knows that this track's used 24% and this you want to have them used equally I guess so if I if I set every other track to use that track that'll be good but considering they have different lengths of of route they'll they'll en end up not being in sync and they'll, they'll end up waiting because they're, they're all obsessed with using that one track that you set them to Later, if you use signal link control, you don't have to worry about any of that because it they just use the free track that's available. But you, you've seen signal link control. You need to build big trains, big train stations if, in order for them to have signal link control. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to, to just add signal link control to it later. No easy way. You need to remove all the tracks and then you can upgrade it to have signal link controls. All right, let me show you how this goes now. Discard it? Did I do it right? I guess. Well, I didn't do it right, but I did it better than nothing. Yeah, I guess I discarded it. Here we go. So now it should be 50-50, I guess. Well, I mean, close to it, because some of them are faster than others. Wow, it's actually 80-70, but yeah, it's pretty close. So here we go. Now the cattle. How many? How much cattle is in this town? Nothing. They, they've they've slaughtered all the cattle. Well, I mean they're, they're still working on 3.6 loads of cattle, but they're gonna run out eventually. But now this train's gonna bring more cattle to it. I paused it again. See now it's already placed some cattle in there. I guess half of the train. If I look at the town now, there's 7.9 cattle and then I guess it's already used some of those 8 cattle that I, used, that I brought and then it's got, I mean these cattle here they're also existing but they're being produced into meat at the moment. 
So they were, I guess, basically already meet. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Hope you're not a vegan or anything. I mean, you'd have to be a fool to 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 judge the people of the past for eating meat, because they're what else were they gonna eat? <laughs> it's it's meat. They they're gonna eat meat. They're gonna have cute little train stations. It even says Atlanta on it. I love this game. It says the the name of the town on it. Because this is Atlanta. Alright, so here we go. Now, there's only... I, I I have three cities and there's only one town with, with beef in it. And the beef is being supplied. See, they're already using up the cattle. You can see the graph of how much it's been used. This is how much it was before. I mean, it started out with full cattle. I don't know why the, the city started out with full goods, but they do, I guess. And then they run out. <laughs> Even though you, you would think that they would have reached a, a state of equilibrium, but no, they, they haven't. They, they're fully loaded with goods and they run out because you're not supplying them. How, how, did, how were they full to begin with? Who knows? Anyways, here it goes back up because, because now I brought in more cattle. And here's another load of cattle coming in. The, the train moves a lot faster without the wagons, just so you know. So that's why it's already here again. There, it's... It's not going to be 100% utilization, but it's close. And, well, I guess it can't even make more now, because it needs to, to wait for more wagons to... More trains to, to bring away the remaining beef to keep the flow of goods going okay so the trains here are being slowed down by this bottleneck of a station but I guess that's what's gonna happen because the tracks are obviously the the tracks have way more capacity for trains than the station because the station takes a long time to process the trains oh that's a bug <laughs> Don't, don't mind that though. Train f <laughs> driving to the other train by accident, weirdly. So I added more signals here so they can wait closer together. I can tell this one to go onto the other track and it'll go. But you don't have time to do that all the time. It could have gone faster if I. If I, had not, if I had been set to the right track, but it's not always going to be set to the right track. So here we go, we're already making big money. I guess I made a hundred thousand dollars just from letting the game run for, for half an in-game year. And at first, money is pretty hard to get. So there you go. I mean, it's, it's hard to get unless you build as efficiently as this. <laughs> So here we go, beautiful little city being utilized nicely. You can zoom in and see some town folks here. And some carriages <laughs> and buildings, of course. Look how rural this town is, beautiful. I mean, I guess it really is a, a level one town, but it's gonna grow into a level two town soon. How long does that take? Uh, I think it's, two, it's 20k inhabitants. I could have hired these engineers to slightly speed up my trains, but it's annoying to assign them unless you... I mean, I hire them and assign them later, I guess. Come on, grow. I mean, there's not a milestone here to be reached yet. Level 3 is where it gets interesting, where you can build an industry. There you go, anyways. This is what it looks like if... It's less utilized than I thought because I set that one train to be on that other track like a fool so now they're they're not utilized as well again huh guess i should have sent it back after i after it drove in but you don't want to set the track while it's already in the station or else it'll drive out stupidly my phone really all right sorry oh yeah i ordered a pizza that's what they, they rang me up <laughs> But they, they're not due yet, I guess. They just didn't have the pizza ordered. Oh, well. 
Well, now they're bringing me a different pizza. Why am I telling you this? <laughs> All right, so there you go. You've seen it. Let me just see the, the city grow. I want to. I never paid attention to this. Does it actually look bigger? Shit, I didn't, I didn't pay attention. Did it get bigger? Maybe there's more people. I mean, there would be more people. I think this building definitely grew. Ah, it's got a water tower. This city has grown a lot, actually. I don't think we had any skyscrapers, but now we do. I mean, well, it's a six-story building, anyways. I mean, I guess it's not technically a skyscraper. Well, it might have been for the time back then. Just imagine I have this huge building here. Look at this! This is like a... Before it was a, a way smaller town, now it's got this big building there. This meat industry is big too. Yeah, this one's the meat industry. I guess these are just random buildings, but this one's the meat industry. You can see the, the cows. The cows going up the ramp? Wow! I, I didn't know that this level of industrialization was already happening here. That's curious. Going up the ramp, and patiently waiting at the ramp too. <laughs> Silly cows. I just love this game. I just love seeing those little cows and everything. I mean, most of the goods aren't brutal murder. I don't know why I'm showing you the cows, but yeah, anyways. It's cool. <laughs> now the game's paused, but the, the humans still run around, which is funny, I guess. But I guess the trains are paused. Unfortunately, the smoke's still coming out. I wish the smoke was paused too, so I could tell if they're moving or not. But no, they're always standing still when they're paused. All right, so let's load that that generator first again. You've seen what happens if I let it go for a year. You've seen I made $200,000 and, well, one of the towns grew. I think the other town grew too. Oops, accidentally I'm paused again. All right, so let's spend the rest of the money. Let's make another train station. Now, I, oh yeah, I guess it's, see, this is what the town looked like before. It, it had smaller buildings here. I mean, the meat industry was already this way, but... Well, you can see how this, this block is a lot smaller. But now I'm gonna do something terrible. I'm gonna <laughs> I <laughs> build a station right through the middle of town. <laughs> now, do I want to go that way? I mean, yeah, I want to go that way. So if I go this way, uh, well, this means I can't add signaling control to it. But do I have to? Do I want to? Nah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't think. I'm gonna build a, the station here. I'm gonna play this game all the way to the end, by the way, which is gonna take, I don't know, I guess, 10 hours? Hard to tell. But I'm gonna only show you the interesting parts, I guess. I mean, I've shown you everything so far, but I'll, I'll skip pieces once I get going. Here we go, building another station here. Everything moves around the things you do. Everything is, is fluid. If I build here, it's going to remove those pits. And it's going to put put the pits somewhere else. Which is magical, I guess. Even though there's a, a vein of iron ore there. I guess no longer. <laughs> we'll, we'll move the vein of iron ore. <laughs> iron ore. That's not going to come in handy for, for a long time. This is the Wild West. It's not about iron. We haven't come to the Wild West to mine for iron. They've come to to build little gold rush towns, even though gold isn't a resource in the game. Well, I'm assuming that the reason why people want to be in these towns is for for more precious resources than just what they get. But what you want to supply them with is the, the basic resources. You want to supply them with grain and corn and, and wood. And then later on, uh, sugar and... Well, here you can look. So basically, a level one town needs these these goods. I mean, passengers' mail are, are not really goods, but you know, they don't add anything to to the town. I don't think. I don't think passengers and, and mail actually change the, the size of the town or the satisfaction, but they they're just ways for you to make money. 
I guess the <laughs> I guess the humans are your livestock. So you is this the time I talk about this? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I'm gonna talk about the flow of goods. So you wanna make sure that this town is supplied with all the, the basic goods, even though it's already being supplied. But once the town grows, this this supply by coach isn't gonna be enough. I don't think you can see these coaches that are driving this way, but there are coaches driving this way. They're, I guess they're invisible. So this this town is fully supplied with grain, and that's good because the the ground needs it to the town needs it to grow. Actually, that can't be right. That town's supposed to make beer. That town's gonna run out of grain real soon. Even though it's pretty close, so maybe it can supply it with a lot. It's hard to tell. Alright, grain. I haven't put any grain into these towns yet because I don't need them to grow just yet. I just need to connect as many towns as possible. Remember to put the signal controls on. Signals. Just signals. Not signal controls yet. Alright, so this town is accessible from three directions, which is good. Now these these towns both have meat, so they don't need a lot of. Two trains will be sufficient, maybe even too much. All right, so now now this is going to be a bit challenging here. Uh, I'm going to connect. Does this town need meat? It doesn't need cattle. It needs meat. All right. So this town here, I'm going to connect here with on the same track as the as the the cattle which means is I'm gonna uh, build a, a fork I'm gonna build a fork here and you see we basically got three segments of of track here I'm gonna use up one segment to make the fork I mean this is just the way it auto it auto seg it auto cuts them apart I guess but this is a good indication for me because that means that there's, there's at least space for one train on, on each one of those segments. So here we go, building another one. Now if this, was, if this wasn't cattle, if this was grain, or if I wanted to bring cattle the other way, which I don't, I would be connecting it here again as well. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna destroy it again, because it won't be any use to me. I'm going to show you how it's done. Alright, so... <clears throat> i got to get rid of these tracks. I mean, this one. Because the train would stop here and then it would... Well, it's probably enough space, but I'm going to be safe. The trains get longer the, lo the, the further you play, I guess. Because, of course they do. Because they... The locomotives get bigger. You've seen how small that, that basic locomotive is. Right, here we go. Beautiful connection. I don't have money to, to put a train on it and also show you this, so I'm gonna do this first. Now you wanna make sure that this here is long enough so that there's a train that could be on it too. Now there's no easy way to find out, I guess. You're just gonna have to, to guess. Alright, so it allows me to auto place a signal here, which means that there's at, at least a lot of space, but not necessarily enough space. But I think this is enough space for sure to to have another train that could wait here f to get into this this thing, th this cattle farm, I guess. So I'm gonna destroy this one because this one was was blocking the fork, this signal, and this one might be blocking it. Move it further down. So now e I could put. I, c I could move cattle to each one of these cities on this on this track and I and the, the cities can be connected with each other as well this here is a level 2 station this is a level 1 station and you never want more than a level 1 station near a, a rural business I, I mean at first anyways I guess if it's connected to a lot of towns I might want to add more but at first it's really good if it's just connected to one town even if it's a big town a, thing, a basic station will work, a small station. Alright, I'm gonna destroy this because it's pointless. Don't I don't need to bring cattle in this direction, but I, this is what it would look like if I if I didn't want to bring cattle in that direction. I'm gonna put the signs up again. You can have as many signs as you want. 
just make sure that you don't have any signs at the start of the track because then it'll block the the train station or the fork all right here's another town going this it's good I upgraded this town uh, this this station because it's getting real busy now we're gonna use the other track on this one huh Oh, I guess it's we're still on January 1st, so it doesn't know how busy each track will be. I hope these aren't gonna block each other. Sometimes they, they block each other and you have to destroy them and, and make the train new. Which you do by, by cloning the train and then destroying the train. The train that you haven't made. I haven't even looked at the tasks yet. I might be doing this... Well, I'm not, not wrong, but I could be doing it better. All right, let's save. You don't you don't get infinite saves. So you want to destroy the saves again after you you haven't used them for a while. Okay, so so now I finally get to actually progress time to and everything that we saw will happen. And this track's being used too much, so let's use the other track. Ideally not while it's in station, but I guess it's leaving the station, so it's fine. It, you just don't want to do it while it's entering the station. Right, let's look at the tasks for, for a second. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, this one's going to be hard. I need to transport passengers from Augusta to Montgomery. Where's Montgomery? Oh, that one. Okay, good thing I already set this up, and I guess that's good, because I need to show you how to connect. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is not ideal, but I guess it'll have to do. Okay, so... Oh, actually, I need to wait, because I'm out of money. So I'm going to connect it so that I can transport people from here to here without stopping, as it requires of me, which means... I need to grow both of those cities so that people are wanting to go from one to the other. I guess I spent a lot of effort growing this city here, which is not ideal, because that, that one's not related to the task I need to do, but whatever. It can't hurt. And at least it means I, I, I have a solid supply of meat coming in. Fast forward. I didn't even get a research point last time, did I? Now uh, we need to move more trains onto the other track again. I think just one more. That should be good. All the cities are growing. No, just some of them. That one conveniently. Montgomery, that's the one I need to grow. And Augusta. Okay, so here we go. Let's make this this connection happen. Now you want to be a good bit away from the town. I ideally you'd want to be connected from further away, like like from here, so it has enough space to for the town to grow. Because when the town's train station grows, it'll be well, it'll take up more space, and then it'll want more space for the trains. Uh, this is not. This is definitely going to be a bottleneck here. I could probably build a bridge over it later, so that the trains could go. But for now, it'll be fine like this. Hmm. I don't like this. Unfortunately, I need to build it, and I and I'm going to destroy it because I don't like it. But I'm going to keep the this here. So now now it's easier to to model this this thing in the middle. See now it's a nice shape. Just gonna make sure it doesn't curve weirdly like it did before. Sometimes you have to build it and destroy it. Feel free to build and destroy as much as you want. It doesn't cost any money to, to build and destroy. You get a full refund on everything you build all the time. Which is great. Or at least 
I guess they did that because they know that <laughs> the building isn't fully reliable most of the time. Okay, here we go. We got a nice connection here. Unfortunately, no money, so I need to unpause again to, to put a train on it. There, now we got passengers coming from Augusta to Montgomery, just like he asked of me. I guess I wasted some time by connecting these non-essential cities. Oh well, too bad. Alright, let's see what are the rest of these tasks. Produce paper, easy. Connect a bunch of cities, I'll do that anyways. Connect eight cities and make them grow. That'll happen anyways, sure. I mean, it'll happen because I'll I'll want to reach this goal of making a bunch of money. <laughs> Connect the, an express connection. That one's gonna be a special chapter in the thingy in, in the <laughs> in the tutorial. Make Atlanta the largest city. Uh, oh, how convenient! I actually did already start on that, so that's good. What else we got? Deploy six express trains. Okay, that'll be annoying. Okay, at the same time, it's it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh cool, the pizza's early. And also, I guess this guy is pretty new to it, to his job. I guess I, I ordered from this new pizzeria that just opened, so he doesn't know his, his stuff yet. So I guess he called me a bunch of times. <laughs> Anyways, time for my pizza. Everyone subscribe for part three of how to build your railway empire. Hooray! Oh, let, right, let's see the first train go over this. Oh, I want to make another one actually. From here. Oh, I don't have the money, right. Ooh, a surveyor, that's the best. You want to hire a surveyor as fast... Oh, shit. It's just a surveyor for tunnels, that's what I wanted, but whatever. I guess I'll hire him for now, because he, you want to hire every, every one of those office personnel as you can, because they're really rare and really good usually. I mean, I guess I get trundles for 10% cheaper, but that's not really important. Not even bridges, just tunnels. And tunnels are expensive anyways, I don't usually use them. Right, here we go. Task completed. Deployed 16 trains. Okay, I see this this city is a bit of a bottleneck. I guess I'll upgrade that at some point, but not too soon, because... I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll see. Alright, next part. Bye. And pizza time for me. 